Abide in Jesus, and ye shall receive power. This is your daily devotional reading. Inspired by the Spirit, August 19th. God's plans for the work of the church, educational work. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Proverbs 9 verse 10. The true object of education is to fit men and women for service by developing and bringing into active exercise all their faculties. The work at our colleges and training schools should be strengthened year by year, for in them our youth are to be prepared to go forth to serve the Lord as efficient laborers. The Lord calls upon the youth to enter our schools and quickly fit themselves for active work. Time is short. Workers for Christ are needed everywhere. Urgent inducements should be held out to those who ought now to be engaged in earnest effort for the Master. Our schools have been established by the Lord and if they are conducted in harmony with His purpose, the youth sent to them will be quickly prepared to engage in various branches of missionary work. Some will be trained to enter the field as missionary nurses, some as canvassers, some as evangelists, and some as gospel ministers. Some are to be prepared to take charge of church schools, in which the children shall be taught the first principles of education. This is a very important work demanding high ability and careful study. Satan is trying to lead men and women away from right principles. The enemy of all good, he desires to see human beings so trained that they will exert their influence on the side of error instead of using their talents to bless their fellow men. And multitudes who profess to belong to God's true church are falling under His deceptions. They are being led to turn away from their allegiance to the King of Heaven. It is to fortify the youth against the temptations of the enemy that we have established schools where they may be qualified for usefulness in this life and for the service of God throughout eternity. Those who have an eye single to God's glory will earnestly desire to fit themselves for special service, for the love of Christ will have a controlling influence upon them. This love imparts more than finite energy and qualifies human beings for divine achievement. Inspired by the Spirit, August 19th.